so I had to get some fuel for my reefer. My first load is a Walmart load. I'm going to Cleburne. I have five loads on me, but I don't know if I can do them. Uh, based on previous experience where it takes a long time for Walmart to unload, I may either have to have those loads switched out or something like that. I really loved uh, the way they had me set up, but because this is a live unload, it may not work out because when I come back, I have to go to Dallas, make a delivery, and then pick up a delivery from Dallas going to Wiley, pick up a, a delivery from Wiley going to Rannock, and then do a pickup from Fort Worth going back to, to the rail. But the thing is, Walmart may take a long time unloading me, and today I have to be back by 2 a.m. Turn left on Alliance Gateway Freeway, then take the first left. So that my slip seat may use the truck. So I just have until 2 a.m. to get all those roads done. But I don't think I'll be able, I don't know. We'll see how long Walmart takes. see how this is gonna go I've been at the gate longer than I usually am uh, I've been there for you know like in line for about 30 minutes so looks like they are busy so I don't know how long it's gonna take them to unload me but the good news is that I have a door assigned to me. I'm going to door 338. So proud of Walmart today because believe it or not I'm getting out of this place in less than let me see what time did I get here so far it's uh, just a little over two hours it's been about two hours and 15 minutes so by the time I check out of the gate and uh, do my unloaded call probably two and a half hours I know that sounds like a long time but based on the previous times whew, that's good so at least I have a chance of doing my five loads right now as I said I'm going back to Hazlet pick up a load that goes to Dallas then from Dallas I have a uh, a load picking up out of Dallas going to Wiley and then I have a load picking out of Wiley to Roanoke then I have a pickup from Fort Worth back to back to Hazlitt right now it's uh, about 6.20 so I have about what 7 hours to do all that stuff and make sure I'm back. My sleep seat starts at two o'clock. So we'll see if we can get it done. All 
All right, I got that trailer. It's coming to eight o'clock. Let's get out of here. I'm done here. I'm now heading to stop number three. Another challenge. So I'm here at Central Transportation. I think that's what they call it. But no one is here. For some reason, somebody buzzed me in. I don't know how the gate was able to buzz me in. But the office is locked. I walked around the whole building. No one is here. So I just uh, sent... Um, dispatch a message to see what they say I've, I've spent so far like 15 20 minutes trying to figure out what's going on but nobody's here man if i don't get this load that means um they may just tell me to uh to take this empty to wire and pick up my load that will be a missed 25 bucks. So I was working on this video and then I realized that I didn't, uh, I didn't finish it. In other words, I didn't record the last parts of uh, my day. So I just thought I should come on and let you know how the day went. As you saw in the video, when I left Walmart, I went back to the rail to pick up my load that was going to Dallas. Well, I had a problem with that load in that, uh, according to that BNSF system, it was saying it's, uh, it's on the rail, okay? I mean, on the trucks. So I spent all this time looking for it on the trucks, come to realize I'm not finding it. So I go to the driver assistance building to ask them where the load is. They look at the computer, at the cameras, and they realize it was already parked somewhere. In, uh, but they gave me the location, went, picked it up, and I left. So after making that delivery, I go to uh, Central something, Central Transportation, I guess it is. As you saw in the video, I was there trying to figure out uh, if anybody was there, but no one was there. The place was closed. I, they were able, like when you're at the gate, they're able to buzz you in and to buzz you out. I don't know who... Who buzzes you in and buzzes you out of the facility but actually nobody was at the facility so dispatch told me to go uh, go ahead and in get that empty to kcs and then get my load out of there and that's what i did i went to kcs got my load that was going to ronak i go to ronak and when i get there uh those guys i think i got there i don't remember exactly if they got to lunch at about maybe 12 30 and i got there maybe like at 12 35 or 12 30 something and so i was stuck at the gate waiting for them to come back from lunch and then uh they didn't have an empty which me which meant i had to go look for an empty before doing my last load lucky for me the first place i went to to look for an empty i got the empty and so i went i picked up did I pick up my load? No, I think when I went to pick up my my last load, after yeah, after looking for an empty, I get an empty. I, I didn't really look for an empty. The first place I went to, I got the empty. Now I go to pick up my last load, and guess what? The pickup number, we didn't have a pickup number on file. I called dispatch, they couldn't get a pickup number on file. They, they tried to contact like the representative. They couldn't uh, get the representative. I was already running late because my sleep seat, uh, seater comes in at 2 a.m. And so I ended up also not picking up that load, the last load. So those were like two loads that uh, I ended up not picking up. So I just had to take back the empty to the... Um, to the yard and then i just got off so by the time i was done with everything it was about uh maybe five past two o'clock and so if everything had gone fine i would have done all my loads and be able to to get off before 2 uh, a.m 
but things just got messed up so uh, but that's tracking anyway i just wanted to make sure that you guys get to understand or to know how my uh, my day ended because uh i think because of the frustration i didn't even bother recording the last part of the days i was i think trying to get uh, to my next stop and at the same time all this frustration so but anyway that's how the day went uh for you guys who want to come and join jb hunt again here is the number that you need to call call susan let her know that i referred you moses referred you and susan will be able to take care of you guys until next time stay blessed and stay safe i'll catch you in the next one